when I was first working, you know, doing copy editing and some news write or some some feature writing for TEQ magazine, the Post Gazette and the Tribune Review, they weren't writing about any tech companies. Like I remember when Glenn Meekum hired his 30th employee at Free Markets. If anyone knows Free Markets, they they were one of Pittsburgh's biggest IPOs. It was like a two billion dollar IPO, I think. When, when that was happened. this? This was this would have been in the late '90s, early 2000s. This is where my brain fog comes oh, in on dates. And this guy, like, I mean, he went. For, he just I mean, skyrocketed. That's like a three year range. To be yeah, fair. exactly. Yeah, yeah. Oh, but my brain is to 2001. Yeah. is what I'm thinking. But that was like a lot of time for Pittsburgh, though. When yeah. you think about what was going on, but but seeing someone that was like they wouldn't write about the fact that this guy had his 30th employee and that they're doing this really unique thing, this reverse auction thing online. Oh, that's awesome. Which which was never done before online. And he created a whole market. And typical media was like, but steel is still dying. And it's just like, oh, get over the steel stuff. Like, see, actually, still, still here. They're still making money at US Steel. Thumbs up. Super yeah. cool. They're a member of the tech council. They use a lot of technology to make steel, which I awesome. think is awesome. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. But there's also these other companies that are now taking the, the new lead. Think about it. I mean, Pittsburgh was the technological center of the world with steel. I mean, that was high technology. Yeah, and right? aluminum at Alcoa. And aluminum at Alcoa. And so this is just the next iteration of it.